Hi, my name is Bettina Hauser and I'm the founder and creator of Becoming an Asset program. Uh, what, who is the program for? So the program has been created for ladies, um, preferably in their, in their middle age, um, who has been um, sexually molested, abused, um, or they just can't find that place as a woman and they are looking for that professional purpose. So what this educational program will do, it's have them identify what their, their passion is for, how they can complete themselves professionally, and, and what's their future that's calling for life. Um, this is a three month course program. It has modules for each week. Um, it has like nine modules to complete. And it was, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one calls with clients. And um, so that's personally me who everybody it's or who clients are working with. And of course, because of its matter, it's confidential. And this is not something what I would ever personally reveal any of my clients but I know that the system works because I've done it before and I have multiple ladies who I could have that that purpose and 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 find them uh, to look that for that calling and that passion in their life um, so what is my drive in it um, well my dad left my family when I was a teenager and that brought many consequences later and then eventually when I came to the United States in 2012, um, I was a victim of human trafficking and that has been going on um, for some years. Um, when one, and then one day the immigration walked in um, where we, we used to be kept in the apartment and then they took everyone away. So that was definitely a game changer. And of course I crashed just how anybody else would have done. Um, so. From that day on, I know that I had to change my life because because it just didn't work like that. And United States gave me the opportunity to stay here, stay here, and build something great out of it. So I did it, um, and I got I went to school. I started to train, and then now I'm eight years later than that happened. So that's not the big deal anymore. But I know that it's possible to make a bright future out of it, and. I know that it's possible to make something really, really great from this background and that's also what my passion is and that's why I want to help others to achieve the same goal as what I did. Um, and I had this idea um, a couple of months ago, if not even a year ago, uh, that, that let's create a program, let's help others to, to work on these problems and, and let's help them to build a better future. Um, and then I started to think and I started to Google, you know, if there are any programs out there like you do, you want to do your research. And I always hear the sad story, the sad part of it, but I never see the outcome, the happy, the happy story, the, what those person became from today. So I'm like, well, that's, that's really sad because we don't only want to hear the bad part, we want to hear the good part. We want to give hope and we want to make sure that, that if a person has been affected some something like this, then they know that there is a future for them. So that's why my motivation came because I know that my future, it's amazing. Yeah, it was like a couple of really shitty days. But besides that, the scholarships, the grants, what the institutions are. And then once when you survive something like this, like, okay, then you are there so confused that, okay, now what's next? So, and then I went to school and then today there is just so many extra grants and so many beautiful things coming out of it. Like for last semester, only my school gave me $20,000 cash as a scholarship just because I'm that kind of student. Like I'm maintaining my almost 4.0 and scholarship is just one thing because business is the other thing. You know, my job, it's another thing. So I know that that it's a bright future and I want to build it and I want to show people that it's possible and you can make it and it's there for you. You just have to find your calling and go and get it. So that's why I want to have, and that's why my drive it is because I had to heal myself first before I started to heal anybody out there. Um, and I think this is beautiful. Like I love to say the tell the story to anybody because it's just it gives me gives me so much aim. And every time when I say this story, then I it's just it just brings me alive because I know that that. That it's so many nice things what what you can build and you know when god god takes you down from from a hill or from a mountain to go through a valley then that it's a higher one what she's what he's trying to take you up to so i'm walking his way and i want to follow his lead and i'm here 
and I have the possibility to help other people so I can so yeah I want to do it um, okay clients client stories this is cool um, so there was this girl she is my uh, my favorite client who I gonna talk about um, I met her years ago in the middle of a club when I was struggling with with drugs and so was she um, and of course then one of our on our drunk nights we sat down and then we talked about the what happened to who um, and uh, that drunk night I found uh, I find uh, I found out what what was her story and she has been um, um, she has been raped since ever she was very young by her uncle right so that's a lot of damage what was done right there and then her drug addiction that's really not what the problem was um, there was a lot deeper problem to solve um, so I helped her to go through the same step what I did and then not not only that her drug addiction stopped um, in a period of time she actually also started to go to school started to find a purpose get a job and then in a in a in a relatively short period of it's like for me to make this healing process took me eight years when i made it with her it took me one year one year so and that's what motivated me so much because once when you know that, so once when when i knew that the process works she's not the only one but she's it's my favorite story um then i also realized that for other people it doesn't need to they don't have to spend eight years to do the same progress what i made in eight years it can take for them only one so i definitely can have a lot on saving time with it um so then this girl she um she stopped using drugs and that's not the only thing she's actually married and she has a job and she um, is also on her way to getting her degree um, which is the most exciting for me the most exciting thing for me forever because I know that I made somebody else's life better and I always will love to look at the story because because I know that I saved her life from going down in a path what just gonna ruin her as a person um, and of course her head too and her mind too um, um, talking about these things always bring me so alive because it's so great once when you experience then you can have have others and then when you find a drive um what can when you can add to the word um instead of taking away so and then this is also where the uh, title came from because instead of being a liability what i used to think i was now you can become an asset you can you can add something to the world you can contribute you can make something better and um that explains why uh, why it's called becoming an asset um so um there is a whole description of the program on my website it's gonna be just bettina.com and go check out the website you can also book um appointments and calls on it it's gonna be with me personally so just go through the appointment section and then book your call and talk to me for any more information if okay. that is and um and book an appointment with me it's gonna be me picking up the phone and that it's gonna be an hour what we can spend on talking to each other and find a, a solution for a problem um, and move on from there and I'm super excited to work um, with you um, leave me some something in the comments below say hi just let me know um, I don't know how do you like my shirt something um, and yeah I hope that I'm gonna see you soon and I'm gonna talk to you soon um, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and uh, Twitter and Facebook. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, and I appreciate the attention. And follow me please on Instagram and Facebook so I can get to you um, closer and a lot more than right now. Thanks again and enjoy the rest of your week.